Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how can we export data from ServiceNow. So there might be requirements when you want to download data or export data from ServiceNow for your analysis purposes or maybe manually migrating into another system or you want to send a report to your senior management and this is where we will learn how to export data from service now because this is very essential and basic functionality in this video we will see the two ways from where you can export the data from in service now the first one is from the list the second way is from the reports if you want to jump to any topic the links are provided in the description i will quickly go into my service now instance into the incidents list I will click on all I will search here for incidents and I will click on all and you would be able to see there are 1135 records here now if you have to download all of these along with the columns which are already here the configuration item the category and subcategory you just have to right click on any of these headers or you can click on these three dots and then navigate to export and here you would be able to see different formats provided by service now to download the report the excel the csv xml json or pdf so it depends on your requirement what kind of report you need i will go ahead and download the excel file so I will click on Excel and as soon as I will click on this Excel, it will start the export and now the export is completed and now I just have to download this and as soon as I click on download, it will start downloading that. If you see the report has been downloaded, I will click on this and here you would see all the records 1135 records have been downloaded along with the headers and in the same format now there might be a situation where you would want to change the columns or maybe you want to apply the filter for that you have to click on this filter icon and you can apply maybe a filter of your assignment group because you would need report only of your assignment group i will search for hardware group here and click on run and you would see there are only nine records and you would want to do analysis on these nine records because they are your assignment groups another option here is to click on personalized list and then you can add or remove the columns which you need for example i can remove priority here and i can add the active column for example or maybe closed and closed by i will click on ok and you would see those columns would be added or removed from here if I scroll to the right hand side, you would see active is here, closed is here and closed by is here. One other thing which you can do is you can move these columns up and down. For example, if you, I want to move this on top, I will click on OK and you would see active is here now. So it's up to you to provide the filter. So you would want the filters on a certain conditions. You can do that and also you can change the columns which you need or remove those columns as well. Again, I will right click here on the header. I will click on export and I will choose Excel here again. I will click on download and the download has started again. I will open this file now and we would see here the active column and closed and closed by column as well as we would see there are only nine records which were downloaded. So this is how you download a report from the list view. Now there is one other possibility if there are hundreds of thousands of records which you have to download from the list. So what service now has done is it's given an out of the box functionality which will really help you save the time and you can multitask as well. I'll just quickly show you that. Now I will open syslog table here. Service now has recommended not to report on this table and neither downloading that but I'm just doing it for the demo purposes. So there are around 1 million records and you would know if I start downloading this here it will take a lot of time to download this report. I'll right click here. I will click on export and I will click on excel again. And you would see here instead of downloading that report, it has given me an option. So this is an automation from service now that instead of downloading now, you can email it to your email ID. So what that would do is it will run a background process where it will download the report and email it to you on this email ID, which you will give here. For example, hardet at gmail.com and it will send you there after you click on mail it. However, if you just want to wait for it and you would want to see that 1 million records downloading, which you would never want, but there is option for that as well, which we saw a minute ago. So remember, if there are a lot of records, you have the option to mail them yourself and it will automatically email you the Excel file of that or any other format which you will choose. 
Now the second part is if a report has been shared to you and you would want to download the records in the report. I will go to reports. I will scroll down and I will search for a report which is out of the box. I will click on all and maybe I will search for asset by location. I will click on this report and this report would be opened. And after this, we will try to download all of the records which are in this report. So there are approximately 2800 records which have been grouped by according to the location. Now you have to just do the same thing. Right click on any of these headers, click on export and click on the format of report which you need. I will click on CSV this time. And as soon as I click on this, the download would start and those 2800 records would be automatically downloaded. I would like to show you this report because if you see here the group by which was applied in that report has been retained in this excel file as well. So service now hasn't messed up that it has the same group by applied here and all of those records are also copied here. If you see there are 2800 records which were in the original report. Now if you want to add or remove any columns you can click on choose columns and add or remove columns from here. Similarly, you can apply a filter here if you want to put a filter based on any of the condition you think is required for your reporting or analysis purposes. Finally, if you want to schedule a report which should be sent to your email ID every day, I've made a video separately for that. The link is in the description and on the top right corner as well. I hope this video was helpful to you and you learned how to export data from ServiceNow in different formats and in different ways. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button. And please let me know in comments if you have any feedback. Thanks for watching the video till the end.